Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am very excited for today's video because this could mean big things, especially for me. Being someone who loves wearing lashes but hates fussing with all of the glue and loves a liner-free look. I was drawn into the new Lashies by Moxie. So I'm sure you've all heard of Moxie Lash. They are primarily a magnetic lash company. Like that's how they came out in the market, but they just launched their new lashes. I'm pretty sure this is new. I just heard about them. So if they've been on the market a while, I've been sleeping on it, but I'm pretty sure they're new. These are a non-magnet and non-glue using lash. Yeah, that's right. No magnets, no glue. So this uses their nano grip technology. So this nano grip technology, Moxie Lash says that the lashes feature a nano grip technology band that is activated by our lashes liner to create a glue free, magnet free attraction. With over 25 uses per lash, we guarantee that you will absolutely love lashes. So a couple things that drew this in for me. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I talk about how I hate picking glue out of the, the like, you know, inside of my lash, like right where the lashes meet your eyelid. Ugh, it just drives me nuts because I feel like I can wear the most beautiful lashes and then I have to sacrifice having little chunks of glue in my eyes for days. Well, not in my eyes, but on my eyelashes. And then I do really enjoy the magnetic lashes as well, but you have to have a liner look on for that. And especially a liner look that's thick enough to be able to get the lashes to adhere to. So I have done reviews on Glamnetic magnetic lashes and I've used a couple other magnetic lashes as well. I do really like the look and feel of them, but I'd like to be able to have something that doesn't look like I'm wearing liner. As someone who doesn't have a lot of um, mobile lid space, I like to have that all seen by the world. So usually I don't like a lot of liner on. So in walk lashes and I had to try them. Now I did get the lovely lash and we'll talk a little bit um, as I get into this about my experience shopping on the website. Now these do come at a cost. So I did get this on the go kit. This is the lovely lash. I will zoom in so you guys can see this, but this did come with the lash and with a travel size of the lash adhesive um, or lashes liner. I guess they're not calling it an adhesive. They're calling it a liner, but this is a clear liner. So it really is kind of an adhesive, just a glue free adhesive. So these are cruelty free and I'm going to get into that in a moment, but um, let's pop this open and try these on, shall we? Okay, that took a little minute to like get this package open, but I wanted to zoom in for you guys so you could see these lashes. So these are the lovely lash. Now these are probably the softest looking pair, like the most delicate natural one. And I wanted something that was cruelty free um, because not all of them are. Some of these are mink lashes. And um, so I wanted to get some of the premium silk ones and I wanted something that was just really natural and delicate, but would amp up my own lash look. So. I'm excited to give these a go. Again, we do have the liner and uh, I'm gonna be excited to try this out. Now I did take the time to watch the little like FAQ videos and things and they did say that you do not have to wait to put this um, lash on your eye. So once the liner is on the lash, you can just pop it right on. So I'm very excited to try this out. Now, this does have a silicone band and it does feel a little tacky. You guys probably won't even be able to see this. So you guys can see, this is again, just a delicate lash, just to add a little bit of volume, but this silicone band, and it's a, it's not a thick band, but it's not an invisible band either, which should be okay. It's kind of right in the middle there. And I think that this size is going to be really nice to just pop right on the eye. So if you have really big eyes, I have a feeling this is just going to be more like a two thirds lash for you. So let's go right in. Okay. So I'm reading the website because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to apply the liner right to the lash, like an adhesive, but it says to apply it to your lash line. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it says, secure the lashes along the lash line by placing them on top of liner, no dry time needed. All right, I wanted to zoom you guys in as close as I could get you so that we can have this experience together. So I've got the little liner, it's like a little brush tip. And I like that this has almost like that holographic look at first so that you, you know, can kind of see where you're placing this.
And I did put a little bit of mascara on today to blend these in, but not a lot. And f funny enough, I did not realize what color this lash liner was gonna be, but um, it's almost the color of my eyeshadow. I threw on some of the uh, Danessa Myricks Twin Flame shades over one of the new Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable shadows. So I've definitely got this like multi chromy pinky look going on. So I'm just going right in, going for it, like they say. All right, so one on. Uh, it is quite a natural lash. Like I like a natural lash, but this is very, very natural. Like it makes my lash line look thicker because of the band and it gives them a tiny bit more length, but it's not a lot. So. I would say that um, I would say that I probably would have gone a little bit more dramatic. I mean, they definitely look really nice and soft. What do you guys think? I did have a little bit of trouble getting my inner corner to stick, but that happens with just about every single lash I get. And I probably could have placed these a little bit further out on my eye. I will say that liner is very, very sticky. So I'll be curious to see taking this off later tonight. So that's definitely going to be part of this video is me coming back to update you guys a how long this lasted and b what it was like taking it off later. So I'm going to try really hard on this other side not to get any of this liner in my lashes. But from what I understand, this isn't supposed to be like sticky or not sticky, but like, you know, glue like like crusty at the end. Cause these silicone bands are really pretty sticky. Um, I would be curious. I should have tried to just pop the lash on without the liner and just seen what it did. But I'm sure that uh, there's a reason, there's a reason it doesn't come just as the lash. Wow. Yeah, okay, that lash went on much better and I actually really like it a lot better than this one. I placed this one in too far, so I'm gonna just like take this off. Oh my gosh, okay, you guys. There is definitely some adhesive properties there. Wow. Whoa, okay. I hope I can get this back on now that we're redoing this. I think I just needed it um, a little further out on the corner. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, that looks pretty good. I am gonna take a little bit of mascara and just blend these together a little bit, partially just because in moving around this lash, I feel like I sort of like smushed my mascara, if that makes any sense, <laughs> smushed. So I'm just using this like Maybelline sample that I got at some point, just to kind of like pop these together. I don't usually put mascara on once I've got lashes on because they're just, then you have to, then you have to clean your lashes a little bit more, but this is needed right now. So we're going to do it. All right. I like the look of that a lot better, just having them more towards the outside. Now I could see just adding a little bit of black liquid liner right in the inner part, just to match with the thickness of that lash band. So I think I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, what do you guys think? I think that they look really good so far. So yeah, like I do wish that I had gotten a slightly more dramatic pair, but if you are someone who you're trying out lashes for the first time or you have a smaller eye shape, these would be really pretty. Like this is a lash that people wouldn't be like, oh, what brand of lashes are you wearing? Or, oh, I love your false eyelashes. Like this just really looks like good eyelashes. I mean, obviously there's a little bit thicker band, but I don't think that it's like super obvious. So I will definitely be coming back later to give you guys an update on the wear time, how they wash off, how my lashes feel, like do they feel like they have a bunch of adhesive on them? Am I mad that I just spent $45 to get 
one pair of lashes and a little itty bitty lash liner. We'll see. All right, so there's the lashes. I just wanted to like get right into the meat of this video and show you guys if they went on and what they looked like. So why don't I zoom you guys out? We can talk a little bit about my experience shopping for the lashes and get into some details. Like looking at these, they look super natural. They feel really comfortable. I'm liking them so far. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my shopping experience. Now I've never bought anything from Moxie Lash before. I had actually been looking at quite a few of their magnetic lashes and just never pulled the trigger. But these ones sounded so interesting to me. I do think that they have a lot of beautiful magnetic lash options as well, but this like whole like no glue, no magnet situation just sounded perfect for me. So I decided to pull the trigger on these. Now, again, I think I said that this kit was $45. You get the lash and you get the little mini sized glue. Now the lashes themselves all range in the 30 to $35 range if you're buying them a la carte and the full size liner is $45 and they do have a clear and a black option. So if you are someone who you like to have something that's going to really truly look more like a black liner, you can do that with this liner. Although already I just, I don't think that I'd want that. I, I can't imagine, I don't know what the brush is gonna be like, but if it's gonna be like the brush that was on this little applicator, I don't think it's like delicate enough. Like it's not precise enough, but that's just my opinion. I like a really skinny, like true haired bristle liner brush, if that makes sense. So I don't know, like that wouldn't be my preference, but I will stick with the clear. That's the whole reason that I got this because if I didn't really care about the liner look, I would probably just do the magnetic ones, but I know that some people don't want metals near their eyes, which obviously you need in the magnets, right? Okay, so anyway, I digress, but I just wanted to give you those details. Now, because I was looking for cruelty-free options, I was looking for a way to search that because I know like when I was looking on the Glamnetic website, I didn't take advantage of that, but there was a filter that you could use to be able to search out the vegan lashes. And that's what I was really looking for was vegan lashes. I, I shouldn't say cruelty-free, I keep saying that. And I was looking for vegan lashes. Moxie does say that all of their lashes are cruelty-free, but I was looking for vegan ones. They do have the mink lashes and then they have these, uh, what do they call them? Premium silk lashes. So I actually reached out to Lashies on Instagram and just asked them like, hey, these lashes look great. I'm looking for vegan options. I looked through the FAQ. I can't see anything in like a search bar or anything. So what they said back was, that's an amazing question. Any of our lashes that say faux mink is made of fibers and are vegan friendly. So I'm looking through everything, like looking for faux mink, looking for anything that straight out says vegan. And it was really hard. So I had to read the description of every single pair of lashes and look for the ones that said silk. Now, I don't even think that every pair listed what they were made of. Like some of them, if they did mention mink, but anything that just, anything that didn't say it wasn't silk, like anything that didn't actually mention silk, I just assumed was not vegan. So I wish that the company would make that much more clear, like just have a vegan section and a mink section, like just make it easy to find. Because if I have to search through, like honestly, if this didn't sound so appealing to me of not having to pick lash adhesive out of my eyeballs, out of my eyelashes, um, I probably would have just given up because it's like, why make it so hard to find the ones that are vegan? So that's the one thing I will say. I do think that these are a little pricey. Um, hopefully they hold up. Like I said, that it says that you are supposed to be able to get 25 uses out of these. So I'm hoping that that's the truth. So one thing that I was confused about also on the website is there was some of the info that I think I got in my email as I was clicking through that talked about using their all-in-one makeup remover to clean your lashes. But then when I was reading in the FAQ, it says avoid using any product with oil as an ingredient as this will cause damage to your lashy product. So it says you're only supposed to use a clean Q-tip and water, clean your lashes with precision and a gentle touch to remove any liner collected on the silicone band. So then it says return them to the case. And then I was looking at the makeup remover, which I thought was really interesting because I swear that one of the things that I saw said to use that to remove um, the adhesive, but this has castor oil as one of the ingredients. So I was just a little bit confused. If you're not supposed to use anything like with an oil base, why would you use this? And it's, you know, fairly up there in the ingredient list. So I'm not sure about that, but I'm honestly just gonna try the water because I didn't buy the makeup remover. I didn't feel the need to. I'm just gonna give it a go later. So again, that's something I'll go through is the wear time, the cleanup, not only on the lashes, but on my actual lashes. 
So I think that's just one of the things that I would like to say. I wish, and I know that this is probably like a new launch for them, but I wish that they really did clarify the vegan and the mink lashes. So that's the only thing. But as we're sitting here, oh, I do think that these look really, really good. I think that they look really natural. I can say right off the bat, if this works and these, sorry about the truck outside, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> if these work and this adhesive or this liner, excuse me, if it doesn't actually act like adhesive and it's easy to clean off, I will definitely spend the money to buy more of these lashes. I do actually really like that I was able to get this little mini adhesive because I think that that will last a good while. So again, I'll keep you guys updated. I am going to go throughout the rest of my day. It is about two o'clock right now, so I'll make sure to wait until later in the evening and I will film and give you guys an update. All right, you guys, here we are. It is 10 p.m and these lashes are still going strong. Honestly, like usually by now, cause that was two o'clock. I think it was two o'clock. It was either two o'clock or three o'clock, but normally I would say by now my inner corner would be lifting up a little bit. Um, so this adhesive is on. I, I will say I'm a little scared to take these off because I remember when I had to shift this one, that adhesive was already pretty on there, so. We will see how this goes. I normally don't like pull, oh, it's not too bad. I normally don't pull these off like this. So um, I would normally go through with really, really warm water and try to break these up. But I thought what I would do, cause it's supposed to be like dissolved with water. So I thought what I would do is try to just loosen it up with a little bit of water on a Q-tip and just kind of run that along the base. So water. wet q-tip just because I really try to be pretty delicate to my uh, eyelid skin and so like when I see people like in the movies or even like in real life where they're like and they rip their lashes off oh it just like gives me the heebie-jeebies so I'm gonna try to just loosen some of this up a little bit like I said normally I would probably just um, use a good amount of warm water just to loosen that adhesive a bit before I went to take them off. I think that did make a difference. I, I will probably still normally want to go ahead and do that. I mean, we'll see. The one thing about that is obviously you get the lashes really wet. I feel like if you don't get them quite as wet, they last a little bit longer, but let's take a look here. I do have a little bit of adhesive on the lash band. So again, I'm just gonna try to get some of this off the way that they said you should. The best way that I can describe the adhesive now that it's like been used and dried and is stuck on here is almost like rubber cement. Um, yeah, so I feel like the best way to get it off is to just take like a damp Q-tip and just, I laid it on actually this little coaster here and then just tried to like roll it off of the lash band just very gently. And that's one thing I think that, you know, it's really gonna make a difference. Um, you, you don't want to have the lash band on this very like gunky. And I think that that obviously goes for any lashes, but I have a feeling that the silicone band, you're gonna wanna keep pretty clean. So. I might just pop these on again tomorrow to see how well they work being used a second time. Um, what I will do is make sure to update you guys either in the editing process or the description box as far as how that went, but this one came off pretty clean just with that Q-tip and uh, I actually did end up trying to use some Bioderma, so she's looking pretty clean. I am happy with that, but the true test is going to be what is left on my lashes. So let's take a peek here before I go and wash all of this off. I mean, I don't really have a lot of anything stuck to my eye. There's like almost, there's like no residue. I don't know if that's just because I did a really good job not getting any in my eyelashes um, or if 
it just all came off onto the lash. That would be nice. So let me just go and wash my face. We'll see how I'm feeling about this natural lash situation and I will give you guys my final thoughts on the lashes. Hi, I'm back and freshly washed, obviously. So the lashes are safely placed back in their box. I do think that that's gonna be important. Um, I actually kinda wanna adjust this one here because I found that when I was trying to you know, get these cleaned off, I felt like I had to use a decent amount of tension just to pull that extra like, they keep ca not calling it adhesive, so I don't wanna call it adhesive, but to get that extra liner off, I felt like I needed to like, kind of pull on the lash band a little bit. Nothing concerning, but I just wanna make sure to have this around that shape to keep the lashes nice and shapely. So I will say that those took a little bit longer to clean up than a standard lash, just because I feel like regular adhesive, it's like firm, it's like hard. So you could almost like flick it or peel it off. Whereas that again, has the total like consistency of rubber cement, but maybe a little stickier as it was dry. So. That being said, when I went and washed my face, I wanted to try just cleanser, just my normal everyday cleanser, what I would normally use, which right now I'm using the Paula's Choice um, Natural, it's the one in the green bottle. I always forget the name, but you guys know that I love that one. So I wanted to purposely just use that first to see if it could get off the bits of adhesive because once I got into the bathroom lighting, I could see that I had a decent bit up here in the front of my lash line. So I just wanted to use cleanser to see how well that would work, well knowing that I was probably still gonna need to use something else to get my eye makeup off because today I had the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames on. But uh, I got done and honestly, it, it, it really didn't budget. So then even though my face was a little bit wet, I usually try to go in with a cleansing balm on dry skin, but I did go through on my wet skin with a cleansing balm. I just have a little sample of the Good Molecules one, so I was using that one. Um, it did okay. It I definitely had to like work to get some of that off and after my face was dried off, I still went through with a little bit of Bioderma. And I mean, well, first of all, you can see that I still actually have some of the Twin Flames like Hello, like that stuff does not like to budge. So right now my favorite makeup remover for that like bulletproof makeup is actually the one size makeup um, remover, Take It Off, is that what it's called? It's the one size brand from Patrick Star. So I like that spray because I can put on a light dose but it is so like emollient and oily that it seems to work stuff off. So I think that's gonna be what I will try next time. So I do think I'm going to put these lashes on again tomorrow and I will make sure to give you guys an update when I edit this. I will let you know. So am I running out right now to go order more of the lashes? No, I thought I thought that I might, but I just wanna make sure that they're actually gonna be easier and better on my lashes, better on my eyelids than using actual adhesive. Because if there really isn't that much of a difference, if we're just talking about like a soft product versus a hard product, that doesn't really make a difference to me. I'd honestly rather still use the magnetic lashes probably, but I am, I did really like these. They really stayed put and I thought that they looked really nice. So I am cautiously optimistic. Let's put it that way. I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I really had fun trying these. Like I could definitely see these being a great lash. I will say just given the quality of these lashes, I could see getting some Moxie magnetic lashes to try out at some time, um, just because I do have all of my magnetic liner to use. But I will be very interested to see how these lashes work out. So I wanna thank you guys again for hanging out with me tonight. It means a lot to me that you take time out of your day to spend it with me. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like, share it with one of your lash-loving friends, and I will see you really soon.